Hi everyone, it is Hillary with Creative Faith here and I am working in the newest kit found in my Etsy store. It is called Take Root and it is a devotion book all about um, studying stories from the Bible that involve plants or gardens or growing. And so today I am working um, inspired in the book of Habak, Habak? And it is inspired by one of the cut apart sheets that come with the kit. So the kit includes a devotion book and lots of other fun goodies. But I am going to try and recreate this sunrise image that I made on my um, iPad that it's included in the kit. I'm going to try and recreate it using watercolors. Well, I start using Neo Colors, and I really would love to learn how to use Neo Colors. <laughs> I just struggle all the time. Every time I go to use these, it doesn't turn out how I want it to. I rip the Bible page. Um, it, the green was mixing everywhere, and so I end up putting the Neo Colors away. So if you guys have any awesome YouTube videos you know of or that you've watched that help show how to use Neo Colors, please throw the links in the description below because I obviously need help. <laughs> um, so I switched to using my watercolor set from Michaels. It is the, just the cheap watercolors. And I am using the image, you'll see it kind of floating on the left side of the page there to try and recreate the same color scheme using the purples and the pinks and the oranges and the yellows. And so I love using watercolors and I don't know, I was just really inspired by this little image I made and I wanted to recreate it in my Bible. And so this part of the devotion kit, the devotion I'm pulling from, is called Toward Light. And it is all about how I have this plant in my bedroom and how the plant leans towards the light and how the light is the energy source for plants and how God should be our energy source. And I say, just like the sunlight is the energy source for the plants, God is our energy source. We need to reach for him every day in order to continue developing and growing. And so this passage, we're in Habakkuk 3, verse, chapter 3, verse 4. And I'll, you'll see me, I'll end up journaling out that verse. Um, but it talks about um, rays flashing from the hands of the Lord and how that is where his power is hidden. And so I think a lot of the time we can get really weary and tired. Um, at least I know I can during the day. And so this verse just filled me with a lot of hope that I can go to him as my ultimate source of power and how I need to be keeping my eyes focused on him and I need to be reaching towards him every single day in order to be full of his power because and strength because I just cannot do it on my own. Um, we cannot do it on our own. And I just think that is something that I... He's kind of teaching me right now and that I really, really need to remember. So I um, watched one of Lindsay Decor's videos um, and she talked about using these kind of cheaper watercolors and how one way to get rid of the chalkiness on the page was to use a paper towel and just kind of buff the page a little bit. And if I can find that video I'll be sure to link it below um, but I wanted to try that I use these watercolors when like I only use this set of watercolors when I was living in the Dominican Republic and um, I never really noticed they were chalky but on this page I could because it was fully covered in in that watercolor set and then you'll also see I ripped the page. I think this is another one of Lindsay's tricks was to use um, some leftover sticker paper to bind the hole, to cover up the hole. I've done that before where I have um, ripped a page <laughs> from putting too much water on it. And so that's kind of one trick and easy way to fix the hole in a page. You could also cover it with um, water or washi tape you could um, put like glue something over top of it but I wanted to keep the watercolor on the page kind of as the main focus and not add too much else so that's why I just use the clear sticker paper. 
So to finish off the page, I just simply journaled out the verse and that is about it. I wanted to share this video to um, introduce the newest Creative Faith Kit. I will be sure to put a link in the description below. I would love it if you joined us in studying different stories from the Bible about plants and growing and taking root in the Lord. And so be sure to head to my Etsy store and check that out. And I also just wanted to show you guys that Bible pages don't need to be elaborate and crazy. Um, sometimes I know we can want them to look a certain way, but simply just watercoloring and journaling the verse like that is just as wonderful and important and a, a good way to spend time with the Lord. So here's a final look at the page. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Bible journaling videos and hit like if you liked what I did here. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!